from Claymont, that's Cody Bercher, he's taking on Mike Ricks from St. Vincent 103 pound division, two finals and Bercher immediately in on a single leg, head inside shot, brings it up into the air, high single, drops to a knee, he's going to try to run the corner on the far side of the mat, they got plenty of room, they're still in bounds hanging on to that single, he's not really to the corner more out front, head to head here Ricks with a wizard slash hip tip position there and they hit the edge of the bounds. We're going to go out, come back to the center. 23 seconds, tick off the clock there early in the period. First final of the night. Bircher, a couple more attempts at a shot here. And again, Bircher coming forward. He's persistent, but they're out of bounds, and they call nothing close. We're going to come back to the center here. Minute 21 to go. Bircher looking to be pretty aggressive here in the first uh, 39 seconds of the match. Bircher again looking to go to that left side shot. This time Rick's defense comes into a front headlock. Towards the edge of the out of bounds here. Bircher are hanging on the elbow, Ricks in the front head, they go out of bounds. We're under a minute to go now here in the first period. Still no score. Division two, 103, state finals. Wrestlers and parents, if you're interested in your weight card for the state tournament, you may pick that up outside of the And it's Ricks coming forward this time. He drives. Also there, you they drive out of bounds. We're going to come back to the center and get another start. 41 seconds to go here in the first period. No score. Decent action, though, for a 0 0 match so far. Bircher again shooting from the outside. Ricks defends again back into that front headlock position. Bircher underneath hanging on to that elbow. And a rest on the far side, it looks like. I think he wants a stalemate. I think he's going to get it. I don't see anything happening here. The ref calls a stalemate. We'll come back to the center. 19 ticks to go here in the first period. Scoreless. Under 10 seconds to go here in the first. That's it, no score here in the first. We're gonna get a flip, I'm going green. Oh, it was red, dang it. That red, that's Bircher, his choice, he's gonna go down. Two minutes on the clock. Chops gets him flat immediately. Ricks does covers the hips on the opposite side. And it looks like he's controlling that one arm. He's controlling the wrist. Let's see what he does with it. Bircher kind of pulling it forward, trying to free it. Ricks hanging on to it, and he lost that. Again, flattens him out on top, doing a nice job, good forward pressure. He's got that near leg rake. He's actually got the right leg in. And he's looking for a power half on the opposite side, going to work on top of your catches the wrist, lets it go. Stalemate call, just over a minute to go here in the second period, no score. 
Rick's on top, riding top here. And he goes chop to a spiral claw this time and throws that right boot in immediately. You can tell Ricks likes to ride those legs. He's got a cross body ride now. Coming across to the far ankle, reaching over towards the head. Actually, Bircher's got his wrist. And they for holding on to that wrist, they're hitting it for stalling on uh Bircher on bottom. And he calls injury time. Somebody's got injury. Maybe blood. Blood time. Can't tell. Regardless, we got to pause in the action. And Ricks, um, kind of both predicted to get into the finals. Brakeman had them as the one and two ranked wrestlers in the state. He thought that's how it would go down. He had uh, Bircher one and Ricks two. Or zero, zero, Ricks on top. Ricks riding super strong here with, uh, he's ridden him for a minute 18. And the break stops, we're gonna continue action. And again to that chop to the left side. Bircher up to his feet now for the first time. And he is returned to the mat on the far side. They go out of bounds. We'll come back to the center. 34 seconds left in the second period. Mike Ricks out of St. Vincent riding, riding super tough. Thirty seconds now left in the period. Ricks controlling the wrist on either side. Switches to a tight waist. You can see him driving forward, driving forward, keeping that pressure on. Right leg slips in. Again, Bircher grabs that wrist. That's how he got hit for stalling earlier in the period. 13 seconds to go. And it appears as though he's going to ride him out here in a second. We're going to go into the third scoreless. And Rick's aggressive on top with those wrist rides and the leg. And he indeed rides the entire second period out. It's Two minutes of riding time at Flow Nationals. That'd be a huge advantage coming into the third. It still is. Having it scoreless in your choice into the third. now riding tough on top takes bricks to the edge trying to pull him back in looks like he's got a cross wrist ride he did but they hit the out of bounds line we're going to come back to the center with a minute 37 to go in the third period we are scoreless 103 pounds state finals division two cody bircher of claymont versus mike ricks of st vincent ricks underneath now uh, quick jump on green caution To his feet, Ricks. To his feet, he's up, he's got one wrist. They hit the edge and they're gonna go out of bounds. Minute 27 left. Interesting matchup here. Ricks to his feet, quick. 
quickly cutting away. No, Bircher holds on to the ankle. Catches it. He's going to need to climb up the body. Rick's kicking away. I don't think that's long, though. He's making an attempt to cut, jump up, excuse me, climb up those legs. Good call by the official, but not hit him for stalling. I know Rick's coach wanted one. If I was coaching, I'd argue for it, too, but I don't think it was. And they go out of bounds. Still a minute, too. Plenty of time for anything to happen here. And another blood injury. They're not putting any uh, injury or blood time on the clock, so it's hard to tell. Usually that's ticking, and if it starts at five minutes, it's blood time. If it starts at 1.30, it's injury time. There's your score. Here's your Division Three finals. Jared Opfer over there with the camera on that, Matt. He's got those, so we don't really need to watch that because just look over to the left side of your screen there and click on that video, and you can watch that. Rick's to his feet again, close to the edge. They're gonna scoot out of bounds. They got a stall warning. Green. Stalling on Rick's, that seems like a weird call. Like he was going to the edge on purpose, but I don't know, that doesn't make sense. Rick's wouldn't do that. Okay, continue, continue. Coming forward, Bircher. Crossface looking for a crossface cradle. They're going to go out of bounds again. I appreciate it. <laughs> 44 seconds to go. We are scoreless. Ricks and Bircher, both guys been warned for stalling. And again, immediately they go towards the edge and they're out of bounds again. 38 seconds to go. Both guys been warned for stalling. We could see overtime here. Mike Ricks to his feet. Left leg in there for Bircher. They're inbounds, closer to the edge over there. 25 seconds to go. Ricks looking to come out. He's got his arm around the leg. The inside leg though. And uh, a little bit of action on the edge, but they're out of bounds. Good call by the official. 17 seconds to go. Might see overtime. Ricks to his feet. Out of bounds. Five more seconds tick off the clock. I got a feeling we're going to have one more stoppage before this last 12 seconds is up. We've had several whistle starts here. A whole bunch of them, really, this period. A lot of out-of-bounds going on. And, oh, Ricks, sprawling on the edge, out-of-bounds. No, not out-of-bounds. He's out front. That's going to be one point. Two seconds left, one, and that's it. Wow, under three seconds to go. An escape for Mike Ricks of St. Vincent. He wins the 103 pound Division II Ohio State Championship. Pretty sweet way. The last three to five seconds, he earns that escape. And he is your 103 pound Division II State Champ, Mike Ricks, St. Vincent.